coming out of the Lair of Darkness structure deck. This card is called the Duke Shade King of the Umbra. And it is actually kind of a cool looking card. And we already know that the, that the entire set so far for the Lair, Lair, structure deck, Lair of Darkness structure deck is really, really good. So hopefully this card can maintain the hype. I haven't read this card yet, so we'll just jump right into the effect. It's a... It's a Dark Fiend effect monster, level 4, 500 attack to visit events, and you can only use the first and second effect, which are the only two effects on this card, uh, once per turn. And you cannot spell some monsters during the turn you activate this card's effects, except Dark Monsters. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into the first effect. Is uh, The first effect is you contribute uh, any number of Dark Monsters special to this card from your hand, and if you do, this card gains 500 attack for each tributed monster. Now remember, Lair of Darkness makes your opponent's monsters Dark Monsters, and you can also tribute them for if it, that's something that you were wrong about. That's, that's something that you need to do. Uh, so this card could it could be very it could be a very sizable card. I think the 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 uh, I think the the best the best number for this is going to be three monsters. Since if you tribute three monsters, these cards automatically two thousand attack. But if you go higher than that, then you're kind of just pushing this card as a win more card. Um, the stat gain is not very good, but I guess it's fine. I mean, you could use this to power up your entire power of dark dark arm dragon and stuff like that. It's pretty good, uh, but I mean, the attack gain is negligible at best. Uh, the second effect is if this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you could target one level 5 or higher dark monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. This is any level 5 or higher dark monster, so you can add like Mega Caius, you can add Dark Arm Dragon, like I said, you can add the Diablos, you can add all the other, the other Diablos. Um, that's pretty good. You can even add Ascaraf if, if Ascaraf happens to be in your graveyard, which is actually kind of nutty. Um, so it's alright. I think it's a kind of cool thing here. Uh, it's I, I think if you're gonna play this in the in the structure deck, like if you're just gonna mash three structure decks together, I think you play one of this card uh, because of the fact that this card can recruit some of your cards back from the graveyard, and that's pretty not and that's pretty neat. Um, but overall, this card's okay. Um, I think it's going to see some play, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, I will have a deck profile for uh, an OCG deck profile out tomorrow. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Signing out.